Hello, it's James from Technical Topics. I'm here today to talk to you about component protection. This is a system fitted to Volkswagen Audi Group vehicles. The donor vehicle we've got here is an A6 on an F4 chassis, sorry, 4F chassis, which is 2004 to 2011, and component protection affects many of the control units that are fitted to this car. Essentially, when the car is manufactured, the control units are coded through software to be applicable only to this vehicle, and it's tied in generally through the chassis or the VIN number. Therefore, if during service we have a uh, fault developed with the vehicle where we'd like to substitute or replace a component with a device from a donor vehicle, it's not possible. As soon as um, we remove it from the donor vehicle, it is in fact locked to that donor vehicle. If we try and then fit it to our new vehicle, the vehicle recognises that it's not one of the components that this car was made with and it rejects it. And generally what happens is um, one of the functions or several of the functions of that component will not work. Um, so, this gives us a problem. Uh, originally, Audi designed this feature so that if the vehicles were stolen, um, they couldn't be broken for spare parts because this, there would be no future market for those spare parts. But as time has gone on, um, and owners of the cars maybe are looking for replacement components where theirs has failed, they can't afford maybe a new unit, you know, one, two, three thousand pounds, and they'd like to replace a unit with a used unit, uh, there is a gap in the market. So. Um, ABDI, um, supplied by Cap Diagnostics, has got some software um, in, their, in, their, in their product, has some software which enables us to overcome the issue that we've got. So essentially with, with some fancy software that we've got, we should be able to uh, virginize. So from the donor vehicle, we can detach it safely in software and then physically remove it. That unit then is prepared, um, such as this one, that unit then is prepared for fitting to a new car. And when we fit the donor unit to the new car, it will not function until we tie its security in. So we have to use the software to tell the vehicle it's got a virgin unit, which has been got from a donor. And then we have to code this to the car for it to form part of the security of the units. And then and only then it will function. If we simply get a used unit and fit it to the car, it won't work. If we get a virgin used unit and fit it to the car, it won't work. We have to have a virgin or virginized unit fitted to the car and then code it in. So I'm going to show you in this little video how to do that process. We're going to replace the climate control unit, which is part of our security component protection. Other devices like airbag, instrument cluster, radio, um, and several other things are tied to component security. So you may well find this um, situation in your workshop if you go to repair um, or replace a module on a car like this of this vintage. Okay, so I've swapped the, new, the replacement unit from the other vehicle on there, and uh, what you can see is the buttons on this unit um, will not function. Actually, none of the buttons function. The only button that functions, and this is generally what happens when these devices are in um, secure, security prote component protection mode or safe mode, is several of the things will work. So in this case, we've got emergency function, I just let that quiet down, of um, clear, so we can still drive the vehicle to clear the windscreen, but any of the other functions will not work. So um, it's it's really pretty useless in this way. What I'm going to do now is go back to the software, we'll do a quick scan of the car, we'll see um, how what the car thinks is wrong with our system, and um, by way of fault codes, and then we'll run you through the process of enabling this vehicle to be fitted um, with this replacement unit. So here we are with our software. Um, We've got the Arbritis running, the Abdi, so we're going to select Audi. I'm going to just reach in there, make sure the ignition's on, and it is. We've got the battery support unit going in the background, so um, this may give you a little bit of background noise, so I do apologise, but we must keep the battery in tip top form with the ignition on. So we've got several options that we can do now. We've plugged our unit in, so what I'm suggesting we'll go and do a scan of the vehicle. We're going to interrogate the control units and see which fault codes it's got. So we'll just let it populate that list and as we can scroll down we should see um, problems when it's finished its scan units that have got a problem um, here we can see um, climate control has got an issue two fault codes we'll go in there and we'll take a look at reading the diagnostic trouble codes uh, and here's the one we've got component protection is active um, which means that the unit's not happy having the donor fitted although it's a virgin donor then it's not connected or uh, attached via software to this car so it gives us a problem the other control unit that we can see here number 19 the gateway the gateway also has a problem if I read the gateway coding it's got component protection active inside the gateway as well which means that uh, it as the as the master of the vehicle network uh, has got a foreign unit fitted or a unit that isn't coded uh, and therefore it recognizes that fact 
So to enable us to do this, within the um, Arbutus software we've got a section called Component Protection. And here in our Component Protection type we select if it's Generation 1 or Generation 2. Um, and because we've got an, an A6 2004 on, which is the model we're after, we'll say Generation 2. We'll click Next and it'll go and communicate with the vehicle and will identify modules that are installed in the Component Protection um, system which are connected, which are not virgin, i.e. are coded, and those which are virginized, i.e. Uh, have no coding in them. And what we can see as the list comes forward is my air conditioning module here has got a status of virgin, which is superb, which is exactly what we want, which means it's been detached from the donor vehicle and is ready for coding. So what we now do is we select the unit we want to attach to as, a, as a secure unit, we click Next, we're going to read by the OBD2 the um, configuration dump from the gateway unit. And the gateway is the master. It controls uh, what's connected to the network. So we need to go in there. So we'll say gateway please by OBD. It reads the configuration data with success. So that's now um, the, the basic flavor of coding that we've got with um, the unit fitted. Now we need to connect to the gateway and uh, set the component protection. So it's going to go in there and uh, set the component protection. Trying to connect to the gateway, set the component protection OK, connect to the air conditioner OK, and it set the component protection fine as well. Module is learned with success. So I can hit exit, I can go back to my vehicle selection, I can go to my clear all diagnostic trouble codes. We'll hear a beeper back acknowledgement from inside the car, where it's reset the instrument panel. We'll take a look as it finishes its scan, clearing all the DTCs down here in the bottom of the screen. It's gone through. And what we should be able to find now is we go to, um, we'll cycle the ignition off and back on again to let the car go to sleep. And then we'll put the ignition back on. We'll run that scan again. So we've reset all the computers. Scan all, we'll let it run through its scan. And we should find no, no computers with trouble. Oh, we have got, uh, we have got some hard faults in the um, climate control because I think there's some circuit issue. So it's now ready. If we go to climate control, read the trouble codes, exit. Let's go to the 19, the gateway. The gateway in the unit's now fine. If we click read the trouble codes, there are no errors in there click exit let's clear uh, the fault we've got the other fault we've got in here is, um, clear the trouble codes read the trouble codes no errors exit so what we're going to do now is um, we've cleared that historic fault code we're going to take the video run inside the car and let's see if the um, unit's functioning okay here we are back in the vehicle and what we can see then is the climate control device is now functioning as I rotate the switch and press the fan controls. Uh, all of my device buttons, oh, can you see that one, are now active. Um, and the device itself is being displayed on the info display. And so the system is now linked up again uh, as one com complete unit. The benefit of doing this, um, really we need to do this in all replacement components for this um, Audi vehicle. So the implications of not being able to do it are quite great. So as a feature, as a function in your diagnostic toolkit, this feature from the Avdi is very powerful. So there we are guys, hopefully you'll agree. Um, Avdi from uh, CAP Diagnostics is proving to be a very useful tool in this situation and uh, hopefully there you can see the benefits of having such a tool in your arsenal of tools. Thanks very much for watching.